there are some things in the tech industry that we've assumed for so long they just become fact. For example, you may not have known this, but Dell has been in direct competition with Crayola for years. Phones will always be thinner and lighter and of course more expensive with, with each iteration. And if you open up a hard drive, your data will be imminently lost. Wait, is that true? Before I take the hard drive apart while it's on and see if it remains working, I want to attempt to guess, give an educated guess, as what I think is going to happen. There's pressure inside a hard drive and it has to stay at a certain pressure. Small holes located around the hard drive allow air to get in and equalize the pressure inside so that way it doesn't damage the internals. So if we take the cover off, the pressure will dramatically change. And one of the more obvious concerns is that once we open up the hard drive, it's going to be exposed to air. It's going to be exposed to dust. If dust particles do get inside, which as soon as we open it will undoubtedly, it could potentially damage the hard drive. The actuator head that are very sensitive and that are floating about 10 nanometers above the plate could very well um, basically run into the dust and cause a collision um, because they are floating about 10 nanometers above the drive and something like as thin as my hair would be like as it, it hit a mountain at uh, 80 miles per hour uh, so maybe we can see a collision maybe not let's take a look this is going to be a bit of a tricky shot I'm going to drag a folder from my computer all the way to this computer and I'm going to have the dialog box showing that some junk files are transferring. This window here is the window that is that corresponds to this hard drive right here. So I'm basically going to drop data on here and this is going to show data being written to this particular hard drive. Now this internals in here are going at 7200 RPM so definitely gonna have to wear some of these because some parts could fly out as I open that. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this uh, it's about a, this is a 18 gig file and I'm gonna transfer it to here and it's gonna be writing to this and we'll see at what moment this drive fails. Is it just at one screw? Is that three screws? What'll happen? There's the transfer it says 14.7 gigs and it's estimating the time right now Here I go. Unbelievable. It says five minutes and 30 seconds, but there it is actually writing the data. And as unbelievable as this is, I am able to actually get data from a hard drive. It has been exposed to the elements and I'm able to retrieve it. This is not something I expected. I suppose that as soon as we opened it up, the pressure internally would cause an issue. I suppose that dust was getting get into it and just completely damage it. And in fact, we're seeing contrary to the evidence of that. Very robust. Very surprising.
five, four, three, two, one, zero. So the disc copy is complete. Okay, so I was very impressed that it worked uh, until I shut it off. After I shut it off, when I attempted to restart it, uh, it definitely did not work and it wasn't able to do anything. So I'm going to, you know, and maybe that had to do with um, that the velocity was already set and the heads were already above uh, the platter hovering. But now they're definitely not. So I'm going to uh, attempt to put the cover on and then turn it on and see if it works then. There it is, taking the date off. Is this thing indestructible? I don't know. Well, call me an ass. I am absolutely astounded that this drive was able to operate, to read and write, while taking the cover off, allowing it to be exposed to air. Uh, allowing the pressure internally to change and I've observed that it was able to read and write. We have evidence of that. So I was wrong. I was incorrect in assuming that if the cover was open it would immediately without any hesitation fail. Now of course had a dust particle or a skin particle or uh, my hair accidentally had fallen into the drive as it was running of course that would have been completely obvious it would have failed. However, I tried to be very careful not to allow that to happen. One thing that I should note though is once the drive was turned off and we attempted to turn it back on, that was different. You see, initially this hard drive was turned on with the cover securely mounted the way the original equipment manufacturer, however, something did occur when we attempted to turn the drive on with the cover off. It didn't work. Why it didn't work? My guess is good as yours. I believe it has to do with the pressure. I'm just certain it had to do with the equalization of the pressure. The way that um, the drive initially spins up uh, has to produce enough velocity to allow air to lift those heads up. And I believe the cover plays an extremely crucial role in something like that. And with the cover off, it wasn't able to basically lift off. Um, that being said, as soon as I put the cover back on, I was able to read and write to it again. Because no damage was done um, due to particles uh, basically being shoved underneath the actuator head, this drive for all intents and purposes, still works. Now, am I going to rely on it to work for the foreseeable future? No. Am I going to um, use this for testing? Yes. Dell and Crayola are one and the same. If you dropped a Dell CD and nobody saw it, what color would it be? I don't know, stick to one color. 